The ACC is going west, at least at the moment. The ACC will be getting three new members to the conference starting in 2024. It was reported last week that Stanford, California, and SMU were approved by the conference and will join the ACC starting in 2024. Stanford and California are leaving the remains of the Pac-12, while SMU is leaving the AAC, also known as the American Athletic Conference, after being there since 2013 when the conference was formed. The conference will now have 17 full-time members and 18 all together with Notre Dame being a part-time member as they are independent in football. The school needed a 12 of 15 approval of voters to join the ACC in which they received just enough. NC State originally was against the idea but changed their mind at the last moment and voted to let Stanford, Cal, and SMU join. In another surprise, Stanford and Cal both agreed to only take 30% of the ACC's TV share for the next seven years and by year eight they will receive 70% and year nine they will take 75%. In the 10th year, they will take the full share. For the other new member, SMU will not take any of the ACC's TV share for the next 10 years. The Mustangs will now rely heavily on their boosters as they are once again in a major conference for the first time in over 40 years. SMU was in some trouble in the 80s as their football program was ineligible in 1987 and 1988. The death penalty was such a bad blow for SMU as they were not eligible for a bowl game until 2009. The last 10 years, the Mustangs were in the AAC and before that they were in the and the WAC and the Conference USA prior to 2013. Back in the day when SMU was successful, they were in the SWAC, which dissolved after many of the members left for the Big 8, which turned into the Big 12. The ACC was trying to get more members into the conference after the Big 10, SEC, and the Big 12 expanded. The Big 10 will now have 18 members in 2024, the Big 12 will have 18 members in 2024, and the SEC will have 16 next season. ACC Commissioner Jim Phillips was trying his best to get more members in the conference the last few weeks and wanted to expand after all the other conferences were getting more programs to make their league bigger. The ACC also wanted to get the remains of the Pac-12 as Stanford and California were the best remaining on the board. Phillips had been on many conference calls with all members of the ACC and was trying to its best to get them on board for expanding out west. SMU along with San Diego State was originally going to join the Pac-12 before the conference started unraveling and losing other members to the Big 12 and Big 10. The TV deal for the ACC is not great at all as they are locked in with ESPN until 2036. The biggest programs who were not fans of expanding out west were FSU and UNC. As of late, they have been very vocal of their displeasure towards the current TV deal and have gone as far to say they could leave within the next two years. Many experts are reporting that if FSU, UNC, and Clemson have been considering leaving the conference for some time. If they do leave the conference, the ACC is doing this to make sure they have enough members and stability in the ever-changing college landscape. They are even obtaining programs with deep pockets as it also helps that Stanford is considered the platinum sports program with many successful Olympic athletes. With the three schools now in the ACC, Commissioner Jim Phillips does not expect adding any more schools in the near future.